Right during tailgating season, be prepared to pay a bit more for a game day beer. Consumer reporter John Metery shows us why prices are up in his Don't Waste Your Money report. Beer prices are going up just in time for fall football season, so we wanted to know how much more you might have to pay and, well, you may soon have to pay even more than that. Got your tickets? Got your face paint? Now you just need to get a beer. But a new report from bookies.com says those draft beer prices are up this year. It says NFC fans will pay the most, an average of $11.54 a cup in the NFC East. The lowest price is the AFC North, averaging $8 a cup. In many cases, the newer the stadium, the higher the beer price. But there's another reason, shortages of the things needed to make beer. Trevor Self has a job lots of people would envy. Here we've got our uh, seasonal releases. Marketing director for a craft brewery, Mad Tree Brewing. But this year that dream job has become a bad dream for some brewers struggling with supplier price hikes. Ever since 2020, things have been fluctuating and getting higher. It's been a rough couple of years for the craft brewing industry. Just like any of us, when we go to the supermarket, they've been dealing with the same inflationary pressures, plus shortages, just on a much bigger scale. People out there are having a tough time getting their hands on cans. A report in the enthusiast site goodbeerhunting.com says the price of aluminum cans are up 20% in a year, malt up 30% or more, shipping costs up 50%, and labor up 20%. But it's the CO2, or carbon dioxide shortage, that's causing the most headaches right now. Trevor Self says they're doing everything they can to keep these taps flowing. Save on, on costs without uh, dampering our product. And no one's predicting a beer shortage, but you might have to pay a little bit more on game day, so always don't waste your money. I'm John Matteris, ABC 27 News.